right. You see, in the beginning was the word, right? And then God spoke it. The word is from the beginning and through the dark ages existing. Before King Gotham and the Knights of the Round Table, the word is history. More glamorous than King Tut and all the pharaohs of Egypt. The word is sick. It is the illest form of chemotherapy. The one-stop remedy that's hot in the Jamaican concrete. So put away the weed, because this is authentic. Making profits out of drug addicts with a philosophy that's deeper in the Pacific. Even Socrates and Nietzsche can't analyze this. It says, speak to the mountain and it shall be moved. And so I spoke to negativity. You got to go. <laughs> and so while they were out there looking for the real Slim Shady, the world is transforming thugs and Tims and hoodies. Even the pimps began to quote scriptures like, hey, ma, the word is power in the name of Jesus. You see, the word can be like Martha Stewart. Though you try to lock it up, it just comes back bigger and richer. The word was the hand that pulled me out of the water at the last second when I was drowning at the age of seven. The word was in my mother when the bullet missed her heart and grazed her finger. The word was like the prophet Jeremiah, fearless. It knows all things, so it never has to guess. And no matter how cute Denzel is, the word is the one that I profess. The knight in shining armor for the damsel in distress. The word is real, the word is sweet. Kind of like a Hershey's kiss with a cinnamon twist. And I don't read astrological signs or tea leaves, and no need to follow the pirates of the Caribbean, because the word is the map to where the treasure's been hidden. So all those desperate housewives on television, the word is like the first time she meets Jesus, realizing that he's all that she's been needing. The word is refreshing like Sierra Mist. From Genesis to Revelations, not one is to be missed. The word is steadfast and consistent. Or like some artists, they can't decide if they want to do gospel or secular. And when it all falls down, the word still walked on water. You can cast the first stone if you've never been a sinner. So I don't care if she a gold digger. All I know is that the word is bigger, able to transform me into some brown sugar. So what it is you're searching for, the word is deeper than Yahoo and Google, giving you wisdom to reach into the third heavens and siphon from a reserve as rich in Fort Knox. The word is out the box, refusing to stand up for evil like Rosa Parks. The word is explosive like the word in the book of Acts, so put away the sea for, because the word won't return until his mission has been accomplished. So listen up, all ye atheists. When the word hits, heathens become evangelistic. And every building will house the Ten Commandments. And the 50 cents become a million dollars. Preaching to a million rappers. Visions of a billion followers. All God lovers. The word is hot. The word is power. Omniscient and magnificent. In the beginning was the word. And God is still speaking it. You see, I'm going to tell you a story, right? Once upon a time, light came to shine upon the world. But you see, the world didn't understand it. Light came to illuminate, but the world preferred the darkness. And so in every generation, they've silenced the prophets. From Jeremiah to Dr. King, once upon a time is now. We're living in a society that's so godless and a culture that's so arrogant. Because we dare to think the spiritual and physical crimes that we've committed will go unpunished. We need to think again because what we really mean by tolerance is just an excuse for acceptance of things that just should not be. I don't care for open-mindedness. I care what God said. I don't care for freedom of speech. I care for wisdom and truth. Because like banging your head against the wall is listening to the speech of fool. So they can march, protest, sign legislatures, ban prayer, and kick God out the Pledge of Allegiance. But at the end of the day, what have we profited? Don't you know that less of God means more of a devil? I'm seeing a secular world, and it has no future. Because Britney is his mother, and 50 is his father, and Rosie O'Donnell thinks he's a role model, and young hands seen the red of the dark as Reverend Ron was heresying something about a gangster's paradise. They executed a spiritual coup, and our wickedness is in the seat that rule. You can catch them on CNN, the 7 o'clock news. Some disguised as presidents, some in the ACLU. Celebrity priests in the church of Hollywood. But there is no more confusing the BET crew. They preach to wrap it up, but as she's saying it, she's half exposed. Promiscuous messages in music videos. Little bit of gospel, little bit of hoes. Beyonce is a Christian, but I couldn't tell by those clothes. I wish she would either be hot or cold. Because once upon a time, light came and shine upon the world, but the world still doesn't understand it. We're proud of what we should be ashamed of, and what we don't understand is those music charts are really counting down to Apocalypse Now, when number one is the most depraved of them all, yet he walks away with the biggest applause and the most awards. The heck is wrong with this world? And the moment someone even hints that religion he's frowned upon is still an acceptable subject. We're so educated with lies, we don't need truth anymore. 
But one day you have to give account of the things that you stood for. That same day when the first to become last and the last to become first. When it will no longer be just God bless America and no place else. When all the children of Africa will actually be looked at as real children for once. When all the shy things you did in that closet will truly be exposed. Many are called but few are chosen. Why? Because only a few listened when he called. And so they became the chosen ones. So when will you stop and listen to that still small voice? Because once upon a time, light came and shine upon the world, but the world crucified it. They thought they eradicated it, but it rose again after three days. Once upon a time is now, and the light still shines. Question, have you seen the lights? Y'all been watching the green room. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back.